Here we go again. So, uh, this last year's expenses has come out this year for the for, for came out today basically not this year. Last year's expenses is for the fourteen member fourteen councillors in Cavan, uh, came out and it's nearly seven hundred. It's over seven hundred thousand for one year. Yes, I I, I agree. Um, and one councillor I'm not going to name names, but one councillor got sixty thousand. I'm just like you myself, because let's be fair, only councillor's wage is sixty thousand. So one councillor's claimed two sixty thousand wages. You know, you know, you have to be honest. Seven hundred thousand. You know, that could have done wonders, basically, for anything else but going to expenses. I have a, you know, the one thing I absolutely hate is councillors and TDs claiming expenses because you get sixty thousand euros a year. And he's not able to take it out of your own pocket because I know for a fact I had to do things for work. Quite my my job. I had to go for training courses and stuff like that. And I, they didn't come to me and say, "Am I going to use it? Was you want us to pay for your expenses?" They, if I asked them, could they pay for my bus ticket? They laugh at me. They laugh at me. They'd be saying, oh, God, we wouldn't do that. You know that. And that's as simple as that. Or if I had a car and I had to drive to, say, for a walk, uh, like even nurses and doctors, and maybe they might get a small bit of allowance, it depends. Uh, they had to go from Calvin to Dublin every day. But still, at the end of the day, they would have to go into the back pocket, take out the wallet and pay it out of the one pocket. Because that's the main reason why you get paid at the end of the week. You you, you know, again, it's about a thousand euro, maybe a week or so. As a council you'll get. Or as a give or take a bit more than that probably. Uh, like in standard wage. A standard wage. You know. I'm sure you can take it out of that. Instead of having to go to Exchequer. As I say. 60,000 expenses. Is, is is far too much. Far far too much. Whatever about maybe a thousand. That, that's all I would say. If you would want to claim a thousand back maybe. All the councils have an allowance of a thousand euro. Which I think would be very decent enough for them. You know a thousand euro extra. You know. Like, it's insanity that the 700,000 euro, that's, for one county, this is only for one small, I wouldn't mind if it was all the councils in the country, but for one county. And that's not the, I wouldn't mind if I wouldn't get paid, like, it's, it's, the the fact is here, they already get a wage on top of the expenses and allowances. You know, they have a wage already, that's my point, if they wouldn't get a wage, it'd be like, fair enough, you know, they're entitled to the expenses, but not this, like, it's... You know, I wonder who it's a gravy train. Let's be fair, and especially sixty thousand. Like uh, having a laugh, to be totally honest. Uh, and then the, the next one under the sixty thousand, basically fifty nine thousand was. Which you can say basically say sixty thousand. Uh, and then there was another one of forty three thousand. Like I don't know where they spend forty three thousand euro a year. I don't know what they do or what do they spend sixty thousand euro in expenses. I know a few of them went around halfway around the world. Uh, 43,000 again, another 43, uh, and then 42,000. But again, my point is, this is only for a year. Imagine this was for five years, added all up by council. You know, it'd be fair a few bobblets, but I, but I, 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 don't, I don't know how it's this much. You know, uh, I, I honestly don't know. Like, I, I know why one of the council, one of the councils here, because he went ha- halfway around the world. Uh, but again... You think he would take it out of his own pocket, to be totally honest if he wants to go halfway to one the world. Uh, and then another thing too, it was the dinner at Christmas there. Uh, supposedly one of the councils paid for it out of their own pocket. But is that in this, is this in the expenses that he got to pay for it out of his own pocket and then claim money for it? Uh, again, this is, it's not explained by the Anglo-South. The Anglo-South put it up about it. I, I heard about it before a few weeks ago that it was coming out. They added it up and told it. And I knew it was going to be a good few, but I knew it was over half a million anyway. I didn't know exactly how much it was about three weeks ago, but I knew it was coming out and was told about it, in effect. Um, so yeah, I was presuming it would be high enough anyway, because I was told it was over half a million anyway. But I didn't have an exact figure, so I was going to talk for two weeks ago, but instead of waiting to come out, uh, and it did come out yesterday. But the Anglo South, this is what the Anglo South just kind of tells you. This is the thing with the answer. You think they would ask, you know, what do they do with their own wage that they get? And I, I suppose half of these are probably landlords too, the same as Dal Aaron. Uh, you know, would they not be able to maybe take it out of their pocket? Uh, the figure paid out in 2019, as I says, pre-COVID, was, uh, was basically half a million too. So, you know, it's still a half a million in 2019 and stuff like that. But, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit... It's a bit over the top. It's a bit over the top. Uh, even in 2020 when the country was locked down it was 200,000 so what would they do when the council was, you know you can't, you can't, you can't, like that would have built a few a fair crew, a few well it wouldn't build a, probably a lot of social houses but it would go towards a good few 700,000 euro I'm sure it would go towards housing a few people in Cavan even modular homes but 
you know, not a word about it. You know, you think they'll be like for the good of the community and stuff like that. And especially because uh, you don't hear them coming out. I hate, I haven't heard one of them in the council, uh, councillors that have come out onto the radio and said, you know, look at I'm claiming it because and the people want to know. People write these in, in, in the comments and this or hopping literally uh, how much it is. Uh, and they widely so because it's 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 just absurd that it's this much. And compared to the only Joe, like as I say, if I had to go somewhere in the morning, I wouldn't go to the exchequer, and I wouldn't get it if I went and asked for it if I was walking. Like I, I am walking, but they say for example you were a builder, why right? you were self-employed, right? Uh, no, well you were a builder. Say you work for some firm, right? And you have to go up to Dublin every day from Cavan. Uh, now if you went to your boss now in the morning and said, "Can you pay for my bus fare in expenses?" You know, he'd probably tell you to do one. You know, let's be fair. And I think he, because he'd be saying, you know, you'll get a, a wage at the end of the week. Would you not reach into your back pocket and pay for it yourself, maybe? Uh, and especially because, as I say, it's about a thousand, uh, give or more, or about a thousand euro a week, maybe. Uh, and that's been generous. But they, they've given they've given the councillors about two years ago to give them a rise of 5,000 euro. So, you know... It's a, it's a, that's a queer rise. I never seen a rise like that, and I don't think the vast majority is in one in one pay rise. They got a five thousand euro pay rise. So I don't think any of us, any only Joe, has ever seen that kind of money. You know, have have we? No, we wouldn't. Um, again, I, I just as I say before, uh, you know, there should be a bit more good thinking of this. Uh, this literally at the moment, it just seems to you know the the mainstream media and all that. I don't seem to be caring too much. Uh, but sure, look at um. Uh, if, if, if there was more, there has to be a question about this, and you know, the councillors should be asking questions. And I do suggest people in Cavan uh, ask the councillors, you know, why is it so expensive? Uh, why was this money not put towards the roads and something like that? Uh, and what, first of all, why are they getting paid in the first place if they're not going to use the money they get paid with? Like they're only salary, you know, like it's a decent enough salary. In other countries, you know, some in some, some countries around the you know, it's voluntary being a local uh, councillor in some ways. So I imagine that, you know. But, uh, you know, it's just my point. I, I, it's it's absurd. 700,000 for one year. I wouldn't mind that for three or four years. You'd be like, fair enough then. But uh, for one year, that's only for one year. And then, you know, and then uh, probably next year be over a million anyway. Well, this year, sorry. Uh, so that's only 365 days, just to say so. Um... I, I, I just don't know. I, to be totally honest, I just don't know. Um, I, I, I honestly don't know. But anyway, let me know what you take. Uh, it's it's absurd to me that it's it, that's that's much. Like as I said before, if I was a cat, so like as I always do at the moment, I always reach into my back pocket. Uh, whatever I can pay for myself, I pay for myself. Simple as that. Like there's equi equipment down here for tidy towns and stuff like. That. I I went went into my pocket many a times. Uh, nearly every, well, probably ninety seven percent of the time, I never would go to the local authorities looking for stuff. Uh, first of all, probably because you wouldn't get to be told totally half the stuff you were looking for, you wouldn't get. Um, and because it's too complicated anyway. So, so all the times I need to go and take it out of my own, but vast majority of the times I take it out of my own pocket. Uh, and then, and I'm sure the councils wouldn't do that if the the lives depended on it. Um, but again, that's just me. I, I would rather take it out of my own pocket than. Go to the tax man and say to the tax person, yo, I want to take money out of the exchequer because I want to just take it out. If I'm getting paid, if I have the money on me, I'm paying out of my own pocket. Uh, and if I have, you know, that's the way I would walk. But I wish some of the councillors here would be like that. Uh, and, you know, I would give them a vote if they would. Let's put it that way. So maybe they might reconsider. Thank you.